And it's time for the news recap for April the 21st, 2022. We have all kinds of great news to take a look through. So join me, if you will, as we check the news. The first big news of the day just released or just revealed was the Luke's, uh, Luke's Sky, oh, Luke Skywalker's land speeder. There we go. Words are hard. Uh, the Luke Skywalker's land speeder has been revealed at 199 US or 269.99 Canadian. It is coming in at a whopping 1,890 pieces. It will be available to VIP members April, sorry, May the first. Uh, otherwise, the official release date will be May the fourth, along with all the May the fourth celebrations. So you have a chance to get all of those great new uh, May the fourth promos that will be coming out soon as well. The Landspeeder is looking like a fantastic addition to the UCS collection that is already out there. Uh, coming in, of course, the brand new, well, the, the new-ish 18 plus uh, adults box with the black background, you know, no, no extra details for it to blend in with. It's just the model popping on that box. Uh, the only sort of gripe I have about it is there is loads of stickers. There's going to be a load of stickers on this very expensive collectible piece. Um, you can see them on the the, uh, the front of the, the vehicle here, all over the engines as well. And even right in the cockpit, you've got stickers for the control panels. The figures that it comes with are a previously existing Luke. I don't believe there's anything new to him unless he has some kind of hidden double-sided face. Uh, but we do get a brand new C-3PO. And this C-3PO is the first C-3PO to feature the silver leg just as he's always had throughout all the movies. So it's great to finally, finally get that silver leg on the C-3PO the way we're supposed to. Uh, but if you look at all the other C-3PO's we've got in the past, they always uh, compare to, you know, all the old Kenner toys that came out. You always had solid gold C-3PO's. They never gave him the silver leg either, not until later anyway. So having this silver-legged C-3PO is going to make this a um, likely a very valuable collectible figure in the long run. So there you go. There you have it. There's the UCS uh, land speeder again. May the first, if you're a VIP member. May the fourth, if you are, uh, if you're not, uh, if you haven't signed up yet, it is free to sign up, and I highly recommend you do so. And you can see here one more quick look at that brand new uh, C3PO. And you can see in the past again, they never had the silver leg in the past. It was always gold legs. So it's kind of nice to see this this new print. They've done a good job with it as well, with the double, or the, sorry, the dual molding that they've added for it. Uh, he also has the full arm print as well. So, full detail on this C-3PO. Nothing new with the Luke. Kind of sad. Kind of sad. Uh, next up, of course, we do have all the gift of purchases and all the goodies that will be coming out with the May the 4th uh, Star Wars Day celebration. There's quite a few things you have to look forward to. Uh, of course, as I've mentioned, the Landspeeder will be coming out uh, May the 1st or May the 4th. And the gift with purchases are going to include things like the brand new Lars Homestead Family Kitchen. This guy will be coming out with the purchase of $160 Star Wars purchase made uh, during the week. So May the 1st through to May the 8th or while supplies last. This one I can see selling out pretty quickly. So if, if it's something that's on your radar, make sure you grab it quick. Uh, but it does include the first iteration of Ant Baru. There's never been one of these minifigures created in the past. Uh, this also means that if you don't have an Owen Lars yet, you better go try to get one quick because those prices are going to be going up, 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 and up. Everyone's going to want to get the pair of them in this uh, this little little display piece if uh, if you don't already have one. Uh, so this one will be available again May the first through May the eighth for 160 US dollars. It is 200 Canadian dollars, 160 euros, 160 pounds, and that will have to be Star Wars products that you are purchasing. Next up, you've got the Mandalorian Beskar Key Ring. Uh, this one does not have quite such a high threshold. It's only $70 to get yourself one of these, uh, or 70 euros, 70 pounds, or 90 Canadian dollars. This will get you the solid metal Beskar Key Ring. Uh, so it's not a, you know, not a Lego piece, but a beautiful collectible uh, that does have the Lego logo and everything carved onto the back of it, uh, to the best of my understanding, and it will be an exciting addition to your Star Wars collection. Uh, last but not least, we have the Hoth ATST uh, poly bag. This was available for sale in some places, but now you'll be able to get one for free with a $40 purchase or $50 Canadian, 40 pounds, 40 euros. Uh, just a nice little addition. Uh, I want to say 79 pieces. I 
79 piece addition to your Star Wars collection. Can't complain with another free purchase. So if you buy that land speeder, you'll actually get all three of these gift with purchases if you're a VIP member. And make sure you have a VIP member to get the um, uh, to get the keychain. Uh, double VIP points. So in previous years, during the May the 4th celebrations, there's always been some LEGO sets that have put on for double VIP points. So keep an eye out to see which ones are going to be offered up. And it may be a good time to uh, snag those because double VIP usually amounts to or equates to about a 10% discount. 10% cash back, I suppose, if you will, that you can spend later. Or you can use them on all those other great VIP items that are available, like the hats and the metal tin signs. Uh, finally, there is a VIP sweepstakes out there as well, or will be anyway. So if you have extra VIP points to burn, maybe you earn some extras on those double VIP uh, sets, then maybe you'll want to spend a few trying to win one of the Luke's land speeders, uh, the small one, the Millennium Falcon, and a copy of Anthony Daniels' book, I am C-3PO, The Inside Story, all signed by the man himself. A nice little contest that you can enter. Usually it's about 50 VIP points to, you know, to throw a ticket into the hat. So, why not? Free Legos, free Lego, right? Am I right? Next up, we have the Lego Ninjago Season 15 poster has been released, and this is, of course, for the um, Season 15 of the television show, the cartoon, or animated show, if you prefer. Uh, the image does show Lloyd trapped in the middle of a crystal. So you're going to have to tune in to find out what these crystals are all about. Uh, you can see all of the golden weapons surrounding him, and they are also covered in crystals. And there is also uh, small images of past villains, such as uh, Asphira, Pythor, Mr. E, and the Skull Sorcerer. So there's definitely going to be some interesting new lore, interesting new characters, maybe interesting new minifigures to go along with these, uh, these new crystals. I'm excited to see what comes from this. Lego Builder's Journey is now available on PlayStation. So for those of you holding out uh, on buying this on either Xbox, Switch, or PC, fear not. You can now get it for your PlayStation 4 and 5. That is available for download, I do believe. It was originally from Apple Arcade. It was then released on the Nintendo Switch, PC, and Xbox last year. But now, you can get it on PlayStation. And with the launch of it being on PlayStation, there's also a new creative mode that was released for all the platforms that will allow you to create your own builds using a selection of Lego bricks, uh, and then you can share it using photo mode. So it does uh, get to, you know, pickle your creativity a little bit, giving you a limited uh, number of blocks to build something different, something new. There's also been uh, a first appearance of some of the sets that will be released in 2023. So we've got, we're not even halfway through 2022 yet, and here we've got a number of sets that have shown up under the official instructions database. So this is on lego.com. You can actually find all this information over there. And it is showcasing 13 new sets that will be coming out. Some of them do have a theme listed. Some of them, well, a couple of them have names listed even. Then they all have their set numbers listed and the fact that they'll be released in 2023. So the list, you can see there are a couple of Marvel sets. There's a creator set, a Lego dot set. There's a set that's just labeled Alex. Could it be Minecraft? Could it be something else? Don't know. And finally, there is a 4x4 off-road ambulance rescue. So we can assume this to be one of the new city sets for the year. And maybe it's going to uh, suggest that we're going to get an ambulance or a hospital, a new hospital next year. Some kind of outback hospital. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, these are all just tidbits of information that, uh, you know, you can use your imagination as to what else we may be seeing from this. Next up, we do have the retired LEGO Ideas free gift is available again, at least if you are in Europe or the UK, then you are, you will have the ability to get the sailboat adventures with a 150 pound or 150 euro purchase. And you have until April 30th. So it looks like they had a few of these left over lying around and if you missed out on getting one of these fantastic uh, free gifts, uh, now's your chance. My guess is LEGO is trying to push these out, encourage a few more sales before uh, before the 1st of May, when all the Star Wars promos goes out. But who knows? Maybe they're, maybe they're just trying to get rid of all these extra sailboats. I don't know. It's a fantastic little set. If you missed out on it before, then now is a great chance to catch up on it. Catch up and grab yourself one.
That's a short recap, but that is about all we have for the news today. Again, April 21st, 2022. Um, but do make sure that you tune in live next time, twitch.tv slash the local brick shop, uh, where we go over the news on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, and you can catch all of it going on, you know, as a, you discuss it with me, discuss it with me, not to mention earn your chance of winning some free Lego as we go. Uh, so until next time, thanks for tuning in and, um, catch you next time.